So this is a video about picking wild raspberries, huckleberries, uh, thimbleberries, and Saskatoon berries. So if you want to learn how to identify any of those, or you like just wa watching me hike with my dog, uh, then check out this video. Start this baby up. So Dems are huckleberries, and I'm going to have to get them before Heidi does. So good. So freaking good. Oh, there's more over here. There's one. One berry. Really good berry though. Really good berry. Ooh, there's more. I almost cleaned it up. <laughs> that, that bush was pretty full of berries. <laughs> oh, well, I'll have to beat her. Beat her to the next time. So this is, I think these are oval leaf blueberries. I think. Oh, I definitely a blueberry. I like to taste that one. Oh, more huckleberry. That one wasn't so sweet. When I lost that one. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, this one right here. Jeez, I don't even know if we're gonna make it to the top. If it gets any more difficult, we're turning back. We just finished doing a pretty difficult section again. Like it wasn't as hard as the last one I showed, but pretty like I'd love to show it, but like like I had to oh blueberries. I'm not a big fan of these ones. Yeah. Not very juicy. Velvet leaf blueberries. I believe. Oh. They're not great. They're kind of sweet, but they got no texture. Kind of mealy. Now the um. Those are velvet. Huh. I don't think there's a really small one that's really sweet. And I thought it was the velvet leaf one. Oh, huckleberries down here. Can I safely pick them? <sighs> huckleberries. That's all I, that's all I really care to eat. I mean, if I could, oh, that one was so good. Oh man. Oh man. These bushes can get really tall. I've seen them. And get like three meters tall and they like droop. It's impressive. You get like big thick stalks on one magical patch. It was in Salmo. I don't know if I'm gonna have to start have to give up my locations here. I don't wanna. I mean, <clears throat> who wants to give up this, who wants to share this kind of thing so that more people come and eat my huckleberries? And that's another thing. Everybody's going to know they're huckleberries if they come here because I identified them. Damn, those are 
Those are really good berries. Heidi's just hanging out. She's such a good dog. Especially when we're like on hikes like this, she's such a well-behaved dog. Like I wish she didn't just like go gung ho up that. I probably would have just turned back. Would have been a really good excuse to just cop out. <laughs> well, here we are. It's supposed to be about, about another hour to the glacier, I think. Hmm. You know, I don't know what those are. Thimbleberries. Yeah, I know it kind of looks like Devil's Club. I know, but it's not. They're only, like, possibly my favorite berry. They call them a thimble because they're just like a big it's like a raspberry, like a thimble-shaped raspberry put on your thumb. I don't know. I'm not going to try. Anyways, I can put them in my mouth. Oh. Yeah, it tastes like a... It's like a raspberry with more flavor and like more texture. It's very raspberry-like though. <clears throat> that was a good one. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. Oh. Oh, that was a good one. Maybe not quite as sweet as a raspberry, as some raspberries. Definitely sweet. It's got this like nice, nice tart goodness oh goodness I left Heidi in the van I feel bad I'll pick one for Heidi that's the thing usually there's lots of berries but not many I'd like to eat Hmm. Almost like it's like jam. The second it hits your mouth, it's so good. Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. Oh, these are done. Thimbleberries. Hey, if you need a some toilet paper if you're pooping in a proper spot not just out in the open like a jerk but if you got a nice pit that you dug for yourself and you don't have any toilet paper you know what I'm saying that one wasn't very good It's like, it's like Charmin's. Cha cha cha, Charmin's. Mm. Let's get one for Heidi. Saw some over here too. Seems like the ones that aren't in the direct sun are doing a bit better. There we are. Oh, lucky dog. What a lucky dog. Okay. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. It's Heidi. She wants a berry. Getting some mileage out of that girl. girl. Mm. Got it all over my hand. Clean up my hand. You got a little piece there, come on, get it. Get, oh yeah, get it, get it. Oh yeah, now you got it. Good girl, Heidi. <laughs> I love her. Ooh, it looks like raspberries. Man, I'm looking out with these berries. And they're on. Yum, yum. Oh yeah, those are good. 
Those are really good. Whoa. Those are like 10 out of 10 like huckleberries. Look at this. Oops. I kind of poked myself. Look at those currants. I don't know if you can eat those, so. I think those are currants. Not sure, though. Not sure about that one. Oh, look at this. See all the aspen leaf miner evidence. At least all dead and drying up. Where did I go? Well, I can hear her. Good girl, Heidi. There's more of that. I'm tempted to put that in my mouth, but I'm not. Let's just find some more of these raspberries. Mm. That one wasn't so ripe. Yum yum. That one was. Not that many on this bush. Looks like maybe something has already been here. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Mm. I'm gonna find another good one. Oh, there's a bird in there. I'm wondering if I was gonna start a little critter, critter of some kind. Yum yum. Ooh. Look at that guy. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to put my weight on that. Maybe I'll just leave that. I don't want to like step on some or critter's nest or something. There's only like three good ones, but I'll take them. More raspberries. Wait, I just can't reach the nice ones. Look, I'm already deep in here. Wait, I'm over here though. That's a winner. That's a good one. Ooh, a little, bit. Oh, a little bunch right here. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, yeah. A bug that just jumped out of that. I'll go around the patch, see what I find. Got shade from these trees. Really nice. Guess the wind just came by. Mmm. There's more. I'm hoping to find some huckleberries. I think they like to be higher up though. I think we're pretty low in elevation. Those first, no, the first three that I found. No, first patch. Those ones are so good. Oh, there's more here. Just gotta pick them. Oh, look at that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a winner. Whoa, that was a really good one. Yep. Nom nom. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Oh, that was good. Well, that was a really good one, that one. Well, this patch is a good patch. 
Oh, reach way over. Oh yeah. And he's like, let's go. Jeez, I hope I hope Heidi didn't know where he stepped there. Jeez. Looks like something already did step in it. <laughs> well, she's got lots of time to rub it off before she comes back in the van anyway, so. Oh, the joys of having a dog. I'm not sure if you went in there, but. Whoa, that was a good one. Wild raspberries. Holy moly, there's even more over there. Uh, I'll take them. I'll take them. Look at this tall patch. Wow. Oh. This pa oh my gosh, this patch is way taller and thicker. And there's more raspberries. Holy. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost feel like I should have... Well, I don't even have, like, a, something to... A container, even. We'll hold them. We'll just have to eat them. Oh, geez. And I mean, I could need a lot of berries. <clears throat> so, not such a bad thing. Oh, these are so good. Look at those. Jeez. Those ones actually look a little over overripe. These ones look better. I'm just saying that because I don't want to go right through the thorny bush. Of course they have to be thorny. You know, I'm starting to like raspberries a lot here. Like, I know those huckleberry patches exist. I've seen them. But... <clears throat> this is really good. Jeez, I got pokies going on. Pretty itchy. But these are so good. Looks like somebody or something's been through here already. I'm gonna guess a bear. So I think people probably come and pick these. I wonder if I'm trespassing. <laughs> I haven't seen any signs or seen any fences. So if I am trespassing, it's... I feel like you can really 
point any fingers at me. Oh, wow. Yeah. The, the ones that are this year's look really dried out. Hmm. Yeah, that one wasn't that great at all. I guess that's wild raspberries for you. But somebody was watering these. Oh. Like we'll put like a little canal through here. Then it'll be like, mmm, mega straw raspberry patch. And I think you can even like cultivate them. Like, you know, you only want so many new growth, so many yada yada yada. You know what? I feel like continuing into the forest. Right next to my campsite. I wasn't even looking. And it was Heidi who found them. I called Heidi and she wasn't coming and I was wondering why, but we got some huckleberries. Not many right next to my campsite, but we go down here, right next to the lake. Look at these. Oh, pretty big. I'm supposed to be putting some in the pot. Not just all of them straight in my mouth. I just like, give me that pot. I'm gonna strip these in there. Bushes. I bet you most people camping here have no idea what these berries are. So, if I'm giving any secrets away, look at this. I'll, I'll guess I'll let Heidi pick the rest of that bush. Only want the big ones. Only want the big ones. They're all pretty big. Yeah. The big ones are easier to grab too. Ugh. Pretty low bushes. Over here. Not packed. It's not like these bushes are packed, but it's not like I have to walk far. I mean, these are worth something if you take them to the right buyer. Heidi was... I bet you she was thinking of it. Her nose was right next to my pot. This is where Heidi found them. I was right there. I was like, what are you doing? I thought she was getting into something she shouldn't. She's getting into something that I should. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. I hope Heidi doesn't just go out and eat random berries. Just like I hope no one does. So, you know, I gotta, I mean, this is what a, she, she can identify, like, she knows. She, she was trying to eat the, get the very one that I was trying to pick and put in my pot. Oh, brat. Okay, I'm going to put this phone down so I can pick it before Heidi does. Out for like five minutes. Beat this little girl to them. So she eats them. We got lots more here. Well, that's more. Mm. I like the big ones. I'd rather just go for the big ones.
Definitely not as quick. I'm picking when I gotta film myself. Ugh, quick enough anyway. That's a big one. I'm gonna eat that. It's so good. Oh wow, look at this. Woo Don't you come near my patch. Come near my patch. Hi Edie. Hey, no, mine. Here. Rar. I wonder if I could. Uh, I don't think there's any way I could pick without, you know, with two hands and film. No, it's just his phone. I graded that one anyway. There's a few. Eh. Smaller ones here. So we're right by the lake. I get purple fingers. Like a cherry picker. OMG. Big ones here. And this little patch here. Oh wow. Yum yum. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this phone down and these things are just gonna disappear. So Heidi's no longer picking. The berries that I got. And I got some. Got some worth talking about here. A few, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a few of them. <laughs> on finding these like decent sized ones like, way in there like I mean you wouldn't like I know how to identify these and I walk straight past these like a couple few times look at that not so bad I just way in here no lack of berries where I go And these guys are just ripe. At least ones I ate. That feels pretty firm. Mm-hmm. Those are so tasty. Let's go eat some more raspberries. Oh. This... These raspberries are like better than the last ones that I found. See if Heidi will catch on to the raspberries. They're a bit thorny, so she might might not like picking them off of their mouth. I'll let her figure that out for herself. She's stealing the ones I'm going for. What a little stinker. There's enough for us, though. There's enough for me and Heidi. She wants to eat raspberries. She can eat some raspberries with me.
Perks was sitting in that van. I know she loves it. My raspberries. Hey, don't go just where I'm going, you little stink. Go find your own. There's probably lots more bushes like this. Yeah, tons. Like if I wanted to pick raspberries, Oh, I like raspberries. Let me take them. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. Like... These are better than raspberries you buy at the grocery store. Like, hands down. Like, like they taste kind of similar, but like, these have way more flavor to them. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries. I didn't see any bear turds on the road, so these bushes are gone touched. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Wow, so good. My sisters know that I am a big raspberry fan. You know, after I had all those huckleberries, I mean, these got more flavor. Yep, this is the berry picking town. Come on, uh, Jordan's berry picking adventure. When he stuffs his face full of any berries he can find. I haven't really found any overripe ones. Like, we are... We are right on time here. Like, we lucked right out. No luck with mushrooms, but berries... Oh... Jackpot. Heidi is hiding in the shade somewhere over there. She, she gets hot pretty quick. But thick black fur. She's almost got like a husky coat. Like it's not as thick. It's the same idea. She has like the outer fur and then like the under like down layer. Thimbleberries. There's a ripe one. More tart than a strawberry. Should we go down? Oh yeah, I think we should because I can see some. We should go down this skid trail. So a skitter is just a machine that loggers use to just pull logs out. That's all it is. It makes a skid trail. A yarder is like a tower. Like even more old fashioned. Looky here, hey. Those are raspberries. They're not big ones on this bush. But, oh, they're like falling off because they're ready. Oh, well, we missed a bit of a salmon berry. 
Chow down. I already ate all the. <laughs> I was filming. I already ate all as much as I really want to eat. Yeah. Salmon bears. There's some pretty like dark red ones. Purple ones. Yeah. Yum yum. In the middle of nowhere. Oh, that was my third or fourth try. You know, when you're out in the middle of nowhere and your old 1979 van doesn't start up, you go, uh oh, did I make a bad decision? But we're fine. See you, raspberries.